not who I used to be I'm not living at 17 Let's go! Hey something. Where are we? We are at the Flushing Meadows Park for the US Open Stadium and the city field behind us with, with Chris Yu. Nice. And what's your body count? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is that one to be our first day. Alright, so we're in the Flushing Chinatown, we just travelled here, I'm trying the famous uh, Chongqing beef rice noodles. Andrew just tried some of the soup. Yeah, the beef, beef and the soup were good. very good. A little bit spicy for my liking, so yeah. yeah it's got free chilies on the menu, but it's okay. Yeah, good luck, Chris. Tuesday morning and as you can see it's a really nice sunny day in New York. Uh, the weather's been pretty nice actually since I got back from Washington. I'm just coming back from campus. I was uh, getting a like sports examination done so I'm planning to join the running club while I'm in, uh, in New York and I'm also going to try playing basketball. They have this thing called an intramural league, which is like a recreational league. So I met the organisers at um, at the club fair last week, and I, and I signed up. So I just need to put in touch with the team. So hopefully they'll accept me because I've got very little experience playing basketball, but it should be a fun experience. So I just did the physical examination to get the all clear. So hopefully that means I can start doing more sports while I'm here. the end of my third week uh, in New York. Uh, I think, yeah, to be honest, my filming's been very inconsistent for the past, I'd say, week since I went to Washington, uh, just because I started classes last week. So I've been kind of busy getting into that routine and yeah, just filming random clips, but nothing that consistently. But on Fridays, like two days ago, I edited and posted my first vlog. I think I spent like, I want to say something like seven hours on Friday night editing that video. Um, which you know, is a lot of time, but actually I quite enjoy spending that time. It's like a creative outlet for me. Yeah, so I've just been to the gym uh, this morning. Uh, I went for a run on the treadmill as I ate a lot of food last night and I wanted to kind of sweat some of it out. And I'm currently just making a protein shake. I'm actually planning to get my first haircut in New York uh, this week. And obviously quite relevant because I think as you'll all know, a lot of the videos I've posted in the past were very focused on Hair styling and hair tutorials. You can kind of see that my hair is like really long right now. I've been trying a bit of a different style recently. Um, but I think it's got to a stage where it's a little bit too messy. So I'm gonna try and get a trim this week. And I'm currently trying to search for a hairdresser. So I'll try and document that. And I'm sure some of you who are subscribed already to the channel will be interested to see that process. <laughs> I just got home, it's about 9.30 p.m. so not too late. I just wanted to recap what I did tonight. So basically I uh, spent the afternoon in the library getting some work done for my classes this week. And then I went to a like Chinese New Year event. I expected there to be lots of free food, uh, which there actually wasn't in the end, which is a bit disappointing. There were some like different events and games and even some like performances on stage, which I filmed a little bit of, but yeah, it wasn't really much food. So. 
me and my friend ended up going to a hot pot place in Chinatown in Manhattan. Apparently tomorrow there's going to be a, a snowstorm. In fact, my lecture tomorrow has been changed to a Zoom lecture, so I guess it's going to be pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, maybe I'll be able to film some clips of the snow tomorrow um, and hopefully I get to go to the gym as because well, I think if I stay in this room all day I'll probably go crazy, um, but I'll check in tomorrow. My first snow in New York. I just saw this morning I went to the gym. I'm actually going to be at home all day. Um, so I figured I'd make use of the extra time I have just to film some of the meals I'm eating. Uh, yeah, I can also talk about how I sort of manage my nutrition as I do try to take care of what I eat uh, alongside my exercise routine. So every morning I wake up and I have a glass of water with the juice of half a lemon squeezed into it. Apparently it's good for your metabolism as well as just some good vitamins, so I like to do that. And then I also had a little bit of kefir, which is like a probiotic drink that helps with your digestion or your gut health. I do that every morning too. I then just, well, after that, went to the gym, did my workout, and then I brought a protein shake with some creatine as well as a banana to the gym. And I had that after I worked out while I was doing my work. And now usually now it's about 1 p.m. I would actually then cook a meal, but I've got to jump on a couple calls very shortly. So instead, I'm just going to have this protein bar that I bought from Target the other day just to hold me over. And then probably in a couple hours, I'll cook a meal, which I can show you. So I've finished all my calls now and I've had my shower so I can finally eat a meal. Um, I had an apple earlier too, as well as that protein bar, so I've not eaten much today. But what I'm going to have is something I've been trying recently. I found it actually off a fitness YouTuber called Lee Lem. Maybe I'll, I'll link him in the description or put him in the caption or something. But he basically made uh, like congee, Chinese congee, using porridge oats. I'm going to try making it now and I'll talk you through how I do that. Firstly, we're going to take some oats. I don't really measure my food, like I used to track calories and stuff, but I'm a bit more relaxed about it nowadays. I know kind of roughly what kind of portion size I want. So there's the oats. So that's the porridge, that gives you some carbohydrates, and I want some protein too, so I'm going to put some canned tuna in, which I know sounds disgusting, but actually it kind of works. As well as the tuna for protein, I'm going to add in some vegetables to this. So firstly, I've got all this crushed ginger from Trader Joe's, it's frozen. So I'm going to add some of that for some flavour. I'm going to put the rest of this bag of uh, frozen peas in, some vegetables. And I'm going to use some soy sauce and sriracha for flavouring. Quite tasty and it's really easy to make. I think relatively nutritious, you've got some carbs, some protein and some vegetables. And yeah, super quick and easy to make. And like I've said before, because my kitchen's so small, uh, I don't want to cook anything too smelly and this definitely isn't, isn't that bad. So so that's the finished product. You've got the porridge oats, tuna, peas, ginger, soy sauce, and sriracha. Um, I mean, honestly, I mean, tell me if I'm crazy in the comments, but I don't think it looks that bad. It does actually smell and taste a lot like congee. And yeah, again, it's pretty nutritious. So I'm pretty happy with that. And it's yeah, only taking me like five or 10 minutes to make it. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this now and then carry on with my day. I guess when I think about nutrition, I think there's a few main priorities I have. Um, first, like I said, is my health. So I'm trying to eat a lot of whole foods and nutrient dense foods. So that's why I do things like the lemon juice in the morning, the kefir, eating vegetables and fruits. And also uh, trying to manage my calories. So I'm not either losing too much weight or gaining too much weight. Um, actually, in the last half year, I've lost about five or six kilograms. So that's like 12 to 15 pounds. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the weight I'm at right now. I'm not trying to like lose a ton more weight. What I'm trying to do is to gain a bit more muscle back. So while I'm in New York, I've been going to the gym a lot more um, versus running, which is what I've been mostly doing the last few years. And so to supplement that, I'm trying to get a good protein intake. Actually on that topic, I wanted to show you too, I use this weekly habit tracker. <clears throat> it tells me to stay accountable on some of the stuff I mentioned. I feel like when I, have this routine set up every morning and just sets me up for the day nicely and just make sure I'm feeling good physically and mentally as well. Let me know in the comments if this is interesting to you. I know I've never really talked about fitness on this channel, so it's a bit of a random topic, but it's something I do find interesting and it's a big part of my life. So if you'd like to actually see more of my, the meals I cook or even some footage in the gym potentially,